Okay, this is going to be a tutorial on how to wirelessly view your computer from your iPhone or iPod Touch. And you can view all your files by just hitting a button and your webcam and then some other options, but this is how you do it. Okay, the first thing you need to do is download and install the program in the I'll give the link in the description for the download. Just install it to the desktop and then fill out everything it tells you to fill out and everything, blah blah blah. And then this should pop up. If it doesn't, just go to start and then go to the e.w.e software and then okay, don't do that. It should just pop right up. Alright, and it'll tell you to type the following address in your iPhone Safari browser. Do not do that yet. Okay, you need to go down to, for changing the configuration, click this button and click the button. Alright, now beside general, what you need to do is set an access password. Just type it in once and then repeat it. Okay, display. Alright, on display you can change your language or you can, your startup view, you can change it from your file browser remote control or your webcam like when you first open the program up on your iPhone or the web app up on your iPhone you like just which thing you see first I keep mine as my PC screen alright and you want your picture quality to be at low because if it's at low it looks just fine and it makes it it'll run faster if it's in lower quality but it still run I mean I'm, I don't even have very good internet connection and it still runs very fast and this does work over edge and it also works over Wi-Fi okay network don't mess with that I don't think you need to do anything to that and then multimedia you can change your it's defaultly set up as uh, iTunes as your multimedia program like it, it allows you to open your the media player just the media player on your iPhone and play music from your on your computer just and you can just view that program at once so you don't have to have all that other stuff running at once and be viewing all that to make it run slower then you can view a webcam which I hadn't I've got I hadn't tried yet because I don't have very good edge connection in my house and it doesn't do it very good it just shows images kind of then system you don't need to do anything to system alright and then once you're done with all that hit the check at the bottom okay now it'll now what you're going to want to do is go on your iPhone and on the Safari browser type in your what it tells you it'll tell you your IP address and then colon and then some numbers for me it says my IP address colon three two one nine one just type that in the Safari uh, browser but do not hit go do not hit go before you hit go, hit the check at the bottom right here. Okay, and now the icon should come up down here in your start bar. And a pop up may come up above it and say, Be free is activated or working or something like that. Alright, now what you want to do is hit go on your iPhone. And it should come up. And if it doesn't, then you may need to turn off. There's my phone. I'll come back. Hang on a second. Okay, that was a telemarketer trying to sell me something. But anyways, if you, if it's not letting you connect, if it's saying connection or cannot connect to server or anything like that, try to turn. If you have any like uh, spyware or any things like that that stops like anything, turn them off and turn off your firewall and it should let you connect I had some problems I couldn't figure it out at first on none of the things on the tutorial tutorials on how to do it but once I turned off my all that stuff the antivirus all that crap like that it let it get through okay now I'm going to go to the iPhone to show you what it's like okay now what you're gonna want to do, as I've told you already, but you've already did this actually. Uh, go, you're on your Safari browser and you've typed in your IP address and then the colon and then whatever it tells you, whatever numbers it told you. 
I've got a home screen button or I've added a web clip to take me right to it just faster you can do that too and it will load up and it shouldn't look like this it should be zoomed in on yours zoomed out on yours but that's I created my web clip so I could see the computer thing alright now it will ask you for your password that you typed in on the thing just type in your password I'm gonna type in mine now I'm gonna take it away from the camera so you can't see it because it's my password for everything okay now it will log in and I will have another way to do this on this way this is a web app so you don't need to hack your phone to do this or jailbreak your phone or have a jailbreaking phone whatever but I will show another way to do it with a VNC is what it's called and but you have to have a jailbreaking phone for that and it's a it's different to like move around on your screen and stuff but I don't know it's kinda faster just I'll show you it'll be up it'll be up soon after this one okay it look it just looks like this at first when it's loading up and I don't see I don't even have very good internet connection here but once it loads up it's pretty fast it's just gotta connect to all the servers and everything okay here we go and there's my computer screen and there's my webcam that I'm I gotta open up right now that this is the actual video that I'm filming but uh you can if you hit this button you can view all your files and or take you you can like go directly to a file or whatever a directory or anything like that and you if you hit the pencil you can type in something if you hit the screen I don't remember what that does it says minimize all windows uh, if you hit the play button it'll take you to iTunes or whatever you set up your default media player as alright and if you want to just if you're wanting to uh, go to like a pro you can open up anything just like you do regularly on your computer just double tap to zoom in or you can pinch pinch out and then to click on a program you can just zoom in I'll open up a folder so that shouldn't take long you just click tap once wherever you want to click and you can move around if it wasn't the right spot and then you can either click double click hit the text button and if you hit the text button you can type in text and then hit ok and it'll send it or you can hit the down option and you can do that whatever that is right click send return send escape a bunch of stuff alt, alt delete control alt delete restart pc shut down drag and drop everything okay and if you want to open a program or something like you know you need to double click you can hit double click then zoom back out and I will have another way to do this it's actually pretty faster see it's already opened up on my PC but it hadn't opened up on this yet it just takes a little bit of time alright I'm not going to show you all that but it's pretty cool so you can view your PC anywhere you want to. Alright, thanks for watching. And if you have any uh, questions or comments or anything like that, just leave a, leave a comment below. Or you can uh, send me a message on YouTube. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.